So guys, the former Commonwealth Secretary General Chief Imeka Anyoko has urged the Nigerian government to, and the National Assembly not to delay removing the 1999 constitution, saying the country may disintegrate like other pluralistic countries that failed to manage their pluralism with a genuine federal constitution. He says, see, all these ones so want to they do. When I not want the country to break. Yes, that is good. Now, and we are still keeping this 1999 constitution that is causing too much problem, you know, in the country. He said, if you don't do away with this, there is no angel uh, Gabriel somewhere that will save Nigeria for disintegrating. You understand? Now, Nigerian government is not even doing anything about it. I remember vividly during campaign period, that was 2023, President Bolamet Tinubu said he's going to restructure the country. I think he's the only candidate then that was talking about restructuring. Yes, he said he's going to restructure the country. So you see, these politicians, they always use this restructure, restructure, restructure to get Nigerians. Exactly what is Presidiso preached. And by the end of the day, that dream was killed by them. Now, nothing is, nothing, nothing is working. The worst part of it now to them is the Northerners are now saying that Nigeria has expired 10 years ago. So it is time to renegotiate the, the, the country. So anybody, when they talk, say Nigeria is non negotiable, he's just lying. Because Nigeria has been, Nigeria has expired since 2014. Anango Adulai, an adult statesman from uh, the north, he said that that the, the country is not working. This is the time, you know, they should renegotiate Nigeria. Now, in the southeast, there is agitation. In the north, there is agitation. I'm talking about the Ariwa, in the... In the Southwest, there is agitation. And people are still saying the same thing. This constitution is not in the favor of Nigerian citizens. It's only for the elites. Now, them, now in this thing, you know, favor. Now, you don't want to restructure. You don't want Nigeria to be disintegrated. You just want, in fact, you just, you don't, you don't still want uh, regionalism and all that. So they just want to continue running Nigeria like this. The Edel statement stated this at the launch of the book, The Noble Academic and Patriot, a biography of Emeritus Professor Akin DJ, held at the Nigerian Institute of International Affairs in Lagos. Anyoku, who picked holes in the 1999 constitution, which he described as Oyunichi pointed out that united and progressive uh, pluralistic countries address their diversity with true federal constitutions. Uh, those who graced the NIIA for the launch included the First Lady of Nigeria, Senator Oluremi Tinubu, represented by the Senior Special Advisor on Policy. Strategy and logistics were have. Presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 polls, Mr. Peter Obi, the former Ekiti State Governor, Dr. Kayude uh, Fayemi, the Lagos State Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Mr. Benga Omotosu, the spokesperson for to the former President Gulog Jonathan, Mr. Ruben Abarte. The chairman of the editorial board of national newspapers, Sam, the former Commonwealth, the former Minister of Health, Prince Julius Adelui, the serving overseer of the uh, Citade Global Community, uh, Pastor Tunde Bakari. Okay. In his speech, Anyoku, the chairman of the occasion, said Nigeria like many other countries, was a pluralistic country whose population comprised peoples long established in their separate geographical areas with different histories, 
different cultures, different languages and religions. He said, the universal lesson is that realistic countries which have survived as single political entities in unity and progress are those that address their pluralism, that is, their diversity with genuine federal constitutions. Examples of such countries are Indian, Canada, and Switzerland. The other pluralistic countries would fail to manage their pluralism with actual federal constitutions eventually disintegrated. Examples of these include uh, Yugoslavia, which after 74 years of existence, broke into seven sovereign states, which separated into two independent states, East Timor, which separated from Indonesia and coming nearer home here in Africa, the Sudan, which broke into two separate countries after almost 3,000 years of existence as a country. Therefore, I believe that if our pluralistic Nigeria is to achieve true unity and political stability and tackle the series, the serious challenges that the country faces successfully, it must have a truly federal constitution. According to him, the trouble with Nigeria was not political leadership. He noted that with the 1999 constitution, not even Angel Gabriel or Mala, uh, Mala Ika Jupri could tackle Nigerian challenges. So he said, the decisiveness, the underperforming country with the reluctant massive poverty, the insecurity, the humongous corruption, and the other major challenges currently facing Nigeria. My warning, therefore, is that to preserve our country, the federal government and the National Assembly should no longer delay in acting on what it is universal lesson. We must have an actual Nigerian people, democratic constitution based in the principles that underline our 1999 stroke 63 constitution, which was hence technically negotiated and agreed upon by the founding fathers of independent Nigeria. As many of us in this room, we remember Nigeria was more united, more stable and developing towards achieving its potential after that constitution until the military intervened in, in governance in January 1966 and introduced a unitary constitution that has visually existed apart in different forms until today. In his remarks at the occasion, the Labour Party presidential candidate in the 2023 polls, Mr. Peter will be lamented that Nigeria had cultivated a culture of celebrating those who contributed nothing to nation building, a uh, nation building saying such practice was gradually destroying the country. So guys, what's your take on this? Do you think Nigerian government will ever heed to this advice? Let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share this video, let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.